Hello, my name is Sitira, and for this week's Teacher Spotlight, we will be interviewing Mrs. Holloway. Why did you choose to become a teacher? I chose to become a teacher um, after doing a few different careers uh, and realizing that what I was doing in the restaurant industry and in just the food service industry in general, I liked working with my younger staff members and teaching them things more, um, and I was looking for a career change, so it just kind of seemed natural to float into teaching. Are you currently involved in any extracurricular activities? At this moment, I am currently the student council sponsor here at Dayton High School. Um, I also help with FCCLA when they need help during regions or if students come to me because they need help with their project. What are the benefits of being a teacher? Um, I think the benefits of being a teacher are being able to help students not just learn things about this class but learn things you know about life. So I teach family consumer science classes, um, I teach culinary arts, intro to culinary arts, and fashion, ad fashion design, but I like being able to teach things about that subject matter, but also being able to teach them something else that might not have to do with the subject matter, being there for them when they need somebody, um, because I feel like students need more than just somebody that's going to teach them the content that's in their class. Okay, thank you. No problem. That concludes our interview. Thank you for watching. Welcome back, Broncos. For this week's Teacher Spotlight, we'll be interviewing Ms. Thibodeau, our Junior Prom sponsor. Um, can you tell us your name? I'm Ms. Thibodeau. I am a family consumer science teacher. I teach culinary arts, and I'm one of the sponsors of FCCLA. What made you teach the subjects that you teach? I was involved in FCCLA when I was in high school and I fell in love with it and I knew I wanted to be a teacher um, and then teaching culinary arts is just extremely fun and I enjoy it. So I am the junior class sponsor in charge of prom. Um, I am in charge of choosing a location, picking food, setting up nominations for prom court. Everything that involves prom has gone through me with the approval of Mr. McCracken. Do you enjoy it? Oh yeah, I love being in charge of prom. It's so much fun seeing everybody all dressed up and I hope you guys have a good time. And here is more information regarding prom. So I am your prom sponsor. Prom is Saturday, May 1st at Broncos Stadium. Tickets are $60. You can pick up a permission slip from the library to see Miss Nation. Um, everyone must have a permission slip for their guests and for themselves um, when they go to purchase their tickets. Um, because of COVID-19 rules, your guest has to be a Dayton High School student. We plan to have um, a dance floor and DJ on the field, games in the end zones, and uh, food trucks. You get to choose between the Torchy Tacos food truck curbside slider, a burger food truck, and there'll be a cupcake food truck. So buy your ticket and, and come enjoy prom May 1st, um, Bronco Stadium from 6 to 10 p.m. Hey Broncos, as you get older, your parents won't always be there to hold your hand, and you'll have to start doing things on your own, like keeping your room clean. It's important to know how to keep your room clean since it's where you spend most of your time at home. And if you have other people over, you want to make a good impression and not seem like a slob. To keep it orderly, you should start by removing everything you have so it won't get in the way to clean any wood appliances and windows. You should start vacuuming around your room. Make sure to get every corner. Finally, you should clean any electronics around your room and then place everything back neatly. Keep in mind, it's important to spray your cleaning rag then wipe to avoid damaging your electronics. Thanks for watching this week's segment on adulting. Goodbye. Sooner or later, you'll get a flat, and you won't get much roadside assistance. I'm Mason, and I'm going to show you how to change your tire. The items that you will need are a spare tire, a jack, a lug wrench, and a tire lock key. Before driving any vehicle, make sure that if any of these are missing, replace them immediately. Once your car is in a safe, stable area, park your vehicle and make sure the parking brake is engaged. 
First, you want to loosen, but don't remove the lug nuts using the lug wrench. Move the jack underneath the car, raise it to connect with your car's frame. Expand the jack until the flat is approximately 6 inches off the ground. Unscrew and remove lug nuts. Set these somewhere safe. Remove the flat tire from the hub. Set it aside safely. Align the spare with the exposed lug bolts. Push it into place. Replace the lug nuts and tighten by hand. Do not use the wrench until you lower the vehicle. Lower and remove the jack carefully until the spare touches the ground. Tighten the lug nuts with the wrench. Make sure these are really tight to ensure safety.